Rich Phillips, The Voice. How are you doing today? I'm good, Rogers. How are you? I'm fantastic, Rich. I really appreciate you asking me. Finally, for sure. the first time, how I'm doing. I'm great. Speaking of great, let's talk about how great this beautiful stadium is. Man, opened in 2000. You know, I get a bird's eye view way up there in the press box for all the games. I love wow. it up there. I've seen a lot of great moments here on this field, too, at Jones A. Ford Stadium. Well, Rogers, the current configuration of Ford Stadium has a capacity of 32,000 fans. It includes nearly 600 club-level seats and 240 seats in 24 spacious luxury suites housed in a three-level tower and press box. In addition to housing the club and suites, the press box provides excellent sight lines and comfortably accommodates more than 125 working print, digital, radio, and television media members. Very cool. And folks, this place is going to look a lot different here in a couple years. In January, SMU Athletics announced that longtime university supporter, my friend, alum Gary Weber, class of 1958, is committing $50 million towards the construction of a three-tiered end zone complex right here at Gerald J. Ford Stadium to increase the functionality, efficiency, and overall experience of SMU Mustang football. Yeah, it's all part of a $100 million campaign to help elevate the stadium and increase support for all student athletes here at SMU. The new 192,500 square foot Gary Weber end zone complex will anchor Ford Stadium's South Bowl, connecting its existing east and west gate entries. Team focused spaces will include new locker rooms, a weight room, position specific meeting rooms, a full team auditorium, and a full kitchen and training table to support all of SMU's 484 student athletes. A new construction project is always exciting. You think they'll let us do a little open house tour of the complex when they finish it? I think it's in the contract that we have to. All right, everybody, that's it. Gerald J. Ford Stadium, an intimate look by SMU's number one fan of all time. I'm Rogers Healy, the host of Healy at the Hilltop. But wait, there's more, a lot more. I'm here with my favorite coach, <laughs> Coach Scott Nady, the Director of Player Development and Dallas's recruiter. He's SMU Dallas through and through today. He's joining us on our favorite TV show, Healy the Hilltop. Coach, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. And while I got you, Coach, why don't you share with us your favorite memory inside this beautiful stadium? Oh, man, there's so many of them. James Poche. Oh, number three. Catching the go-ahead touchdown in our third overtime. We, went, we started the fourth quarter that we had a 1.9% chance of winning the game. Who was this against? Tulsa. We were down by 30, I believe. Oh and uh, came back, and James Poche had a uh, catch right there in the right on the line. Climbed the invisible ladder, snatched it out of the sky, down his back, place went nuts. Nice, and, and tell us real quick, a glimpse into the future of SMU and all the recruiting we're doing, especially in our city of Dallas. What do we have to look forward to here? We're uh, attracting Dallas kids to stay home in Dallas, and that's, that's our focus. Uh, there's no reason in the world that the best football players in the country that are all grown here should go other places to play football. We want to keep our boys home, that's what we're going to do. So uh, we're going to grow them here in Dallas, love them here in Dallas, and keep them here in Dallas. Ladies and gentlemen, SMU football is coming at you. More exciting time than ever, especially for all you people in Dallas. So thanks for watching today, Healy at the Hilltop. Pony up, Dallas. Pony, Pony up. up the world. And thank you, and stay tuned for another behind-the-scenes glimpse at the beautiful facilities at SMU Athletics.